Good morning. We're so happy that you're here. We vlog every single day, and so we hope that you will come back tomorrow if you enjoy this video. Today is like true day one of limited activity for me, but I'm still gonna work, but I'll just take you along for my very low-key day. We'll probably stay home again tonight. I got my workstation all ready to go. I'm drinking my palm juice still. And I also have my fertility candle from New Orleans that Katie got me burning. And I just feel it's gonna be another good day. Okay, so if today wasn't already weird enough with me being on limited activity, Peter actually won't even get home from work until like eight o'clock tonight because he's off site and then they have a dinner after fancy computer science people. Actually, it's just like data people. So I'm gonna give you just another like day in the life of Sarah vlog today. Um, but it's a little bit different because obviously I'm not in my own home, but I do have a lot of work to do. Um, I didn't work the past couple of days just preparing for the IVF transfer, so I do have a lot to get done. Katie is actually off today, so she'll probably make an appearance. I am going to like timestamp this. Like Right now it's 11.15. I always prioritize the vlog over all of my work unless I have like a call or um, like a rush job that comes in. But so basically like I'm always, I always start with the vlog. I try to get it up as early as I can. I actually slept in way more than I expected to today. There's, so basically, you know, with these transfers, I, I do everything in my power to make my body as accepting and open to this embryo. Um, so I'm willing to do anything to feel good and to make this stick. So one of the things that I read online is for the first five days to take Benadryl before you go to bed. So basically think of like yourself having an allergic reaction and how Benadryl like calms your body down, um, reduces inflammation, that sort of thing. And I mean, I know it's like self-medicating, but I have read a lot online about it and I feel confident doing it. It is a medication that is safe during pregnancy, so I don't feel like it's risky at all. And so that made me sleep in way more than I expected. So I'm also playing a little bit of catch up, but it is nice that Peter isn't gonna be home until later. So it's not like I feel like I have to rush to get my work done right at five. I can work until midnight if I wanted to. Yeah, so I will just be taking you along on my day of just my little tips and tricks to get this embryo to stay with us and my work. I don't know if this will be super exciting by any means, but I do know that a lot of you like to see the behind the scenes part of the vlog and what I do um, as a freelance artist. Plus, I'm sure you'll get to see Eve along the way too. I'm doing anything to keep my feet warm today. That is another thing that they say that your feet, if your feet are warm, your uterus is warm, nice and cozy for the, um, the embryo to stay. I'm exporting the vlog. So a part of my schedule is while the vlog exports, I go on Instagram, I respond to all the comments, get everything situated for our next couple of posts. So I figured might as well be comfy on the couch doing it instead of over there um, where I'll be sitting for the rest of the day to work. So I'll put a timestamp here on when I finished. Usually the vlog doesn't take more than like 15 minutes to export. And then I know I'm a little bit behind on comments, so I'll try and get those up to date today too. Also, soon hopefully I'll be transferring to the normal camera. Typically I have extra memory cards in my desk where I could have just been recording this whole time on the camera. But with the move, we only have like one available. So hopefully I'll be off my phone soon and onto the camera and the quality will be a little bit better. Oh my goodness, I'm finally uploading the video. It is 1.30. I had a little music clip I put in when I showed the embryo being transferred. And for some reason it like 
went to other places in the vlog and I couldn't delete it. It like wasn't showing in the timeline or anything that a music clip was there, but it was playing. And so then I had to transfer the file to Katie's computer and delete that section and add in the new clips. Just took forever. So it says it'll take 20 minutes to upload. Um, so finally, 1.30, I can finally get started on my normal work day. Actually, I still, well, this is the thing. A lot of the times I'll like pre-write all of the information for the video in like a Google email just so I can get started if it's like taking a long time to export or something. But still I have to get like the whole vlog situated, add the cards, the end screen, post it on social media, and then I'll be able to start my actual day. <laughs> Look who's home. She's helping me find some shoes for Diamond Victoria's wedding. Mm -hmm. For shoe shopping. <laughs> you, you look like Lucifer. You mm -hmm. wanna help me do my shot? Mm -hmm. Peter's not gonna get I'm home, an so. Expert. So she's gonna help me. Will you help us? You're our only hope, Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> shot done, Katie's a pro. Barely even bled. Now, <laughs> I got to do the for two people now. So. Yeah, she did it for Jess too. Um, so now I'm gonna watch a YouTube video on how to cut up a pineapple I'm so the right hungry. way. What should we get for dinner, or what should we cook? <laughs> this is a horrible time to put a starburst in my mouth. <laughs> did you get your shoes? What? <laughs> was that English? Did you get your shoes? Yes, I bought my shoes off of Amazon. They're, I mean, I'm just a we'll little see. bit. Yeah, <laughs> like we have some time. It's gonna be fun. Like, yeah. They're Especially a long dress anyways. Right. But I'm I'm excited I'm more so excited to have the shoes for like later on, like mm -hmm. to wear again. So Okay, so Katie got this really cute shirt from what is this? State, State of Sunshine, Sunshine Co. Are these on sale yet? The is bloodhound. That? Yeah, I think they are. <laughs> okay. And they have a whole bunch of Halloween ones. Here, hold on. Yeah, I like this one. It's, it's like, like a tank. A tank. It says, get in, loser, we're going haunting. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, that's funny. We yeah. love a mean girls joke. Mm -hmm. But it's like a t tank. Like I've never seen anyone do this cut before. I'll probably wear it. I wonder if they cut it themselves. Mm-hmm. Did you eat the core? Mm -hmm. Ew! Worth it, baby. <laughs> from the McDonald's price to this. <laughs> Katie's learning all about the hoodoo, voodoo. So my. <laughs> I'm coming for you. So my sister, my oldest sister, Jen, she also went through IVF. And so I like always talk to her about Sarah and then like Sarah talks to her too. And cause my sister has three kids now and they're all from IVF. So she had my niece Josie and then she had my twin nephews, Nate and Sam. And so today I was telling her how like Sarah ate the McDonald's fries <laughs> and my sister's like, it's not the worst thing I've ever heard. <laughs> like, cause there's just so many weird like rumors and like right. little like, you know, things that you just do it because you'll do anything. Like right. even if they're like funny or like weird. <laughs> like burning my fertility candle that you got me <laughs> all day long. Did we ever tell that story? I bought this voodoo fertility candle for her and Jess when we were in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. Like literally sought out a creepy voodoo <laughs> store. Like where people legit. were like buying voodoo dolls. Like it was like the most legit voodoo store we could find. And then I only had a carry-on bag and I got stopped at TSA and they pulled the candles out of my bag and like started like rubbing them for gunpowder. And I was so scared because I have no idea what's in these candles, right. but I was about to be accountable <laughs> for whatever was. And I'm sure they like see it all the time, like the voodoo stuff and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but, they just yeah. gotta be careful. That's why I didn't get the oil though. Cause there was like a fertility oil and like, I don't know. So we just got the candles. And, <laughs> They're working their magic. The only thing is it doesn't have a scent, does it? No. I'm just, just putting out the sticky, baby sticky bun. <laughs> right. This actually kind of says... Yeah, it doesn't say how to eat the core though. The core? Oh, that's gonna hurt. I've done it before. Too. Eating the pineapple core? Yeah, I did it in my last one too. Oh. I'll do my little tutorial on this. I often wonder if I should like post that, like if I should get this tattooed on me so that anybody who hangs out with me will be notified illegally. Hello everybody, I've made it to the vlog. 
I Sarah probably assumed or explained, and I think I explained yesterday. So I'm at some offsite conferences for work today and tomorrow. So I'm with a, a select team from my company. We're meeting with another team about do, working on some, like hashing out some details behind a cool project that we're working on. So we're doing that corporate life thing of like in the conference rooms all day today, all day tomorrow. But today we're going out to dinner um, as a big group. So I'm actually at the Icon Complex, I think is what it's called now, with the Coca-Cola Icon, uh, the Eye, the Orlando Eye. That's the Orlando Eye over there. Um, we're going to Uncle Julio's for dinner. So I won't be vlogging too much. Um, as Sarah explained and you saw, it was kind of like a Sarah vlog today. And I'll try to get some shots, but I'm at work and it's not the most appropriate thing to be vlogging at work, at least where I work, especially with other clients and everything like that. So um, today will be a little interesting because I have not done this too often. So I'm starving. I have to go find the rest of my colleagues. Ooh. I went into public like this. It's fine. We're doing awesome. We're thriving. <laughs> we literally, like, we're in such a rut for an hour. <laughs> Morale was low. Yeah. Of what we were going to eat. And I finally was just like, we're going to toast it. Whoa. <laughs> this music <laughs> is so loud. Katie, I'm not letting her wait. Real cheese and tomato soup. I'm a little bit weary of this tomato soup. It looks chunky. Okay. Immediate response for hat. Ooh, this is my sister's song. Tastes like marinara. <laughs> it's really just for my sandwich. Yeah. The biggest burger. Katie doesn't like cucumbers. So That's like, I'm horrified. Would you like a burger with that cucumber patty? <laughs> yes. And then some rosemary fries. They're good, right? Uh huh. Initial reaction. Cucumber. It's oh. spicy. <laughs> my first thought was, oh my god, the cucumber. <laughs> no, but it's good. It has like. I see jalapenos. It's a straight up jalapeno. It's good. I, the slaw is really good on What pack. kind of burger is this? It's like their their vegan patty, but it was. But like, oh, what's the burger? Is it like Southwest or? No, it's was like Vietnamese. Oh yeah, you said a banh mi. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's Looks good. Like a I, might, I might take off of the. <laughs> um, I might take off the jalapeno because it's like overpowering, but. Good otherwise, like the patty itself. And then these are so hot and so delicious. <laughs> Katie's already done. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, I ate that real, real, real quick. I wasn't gonna go on a run tonight because it's past nine o'clock and I've been at work all day, but Sarah was telling me I have to, so I'm gonna go on a run. Yes, if you ever get a chance to go to Uncle Julio's, go. They have a great like chocolate dessert that I had only the food of, but it was like a chocolate pinata. We got this sweet little gift today. Sarah and Peter are sending you all the prayers, good vibes, and baby dust. Love, Megan and Kyle. And it's this fake trust in baby dust. Huge props. Huge props to Sarah because I'm super glad I went for my run and I wasn't gonna at all. Literally talked to myself the whole ride home saying how I wasn't gonna do it. And Sarah was like, no, you should go on a run. And I did. So props to her. Whenever you guys think how crazy you are when we get stuff done, it's all because of her in a good way. Because sometimes she pushes me and then when I push her, it's only because I'm motivated to push her by her. If that makes sense. 10.53 at night, I ran my six miles, had all day of meetings and work and work outings. So I had a great productive day. Day's not over, I gotta do the dishes. I promised Eddie, Eddie and Katie that we would do the dishes, so time to do the dishes. Dishes are done, dishes are done. What? This show. What show? Yeah. Show it. No name commenters. This Canadian comedy. Commenters. Sarah's trying to educate Katie in the way the ways of this Creeks Canadian um, comedy show. Um, do you have any other skills or areas of expertise? Uh, I've been told. The vicious just... side of E. Oh well, that's good. Um, let's see. Oh, Ow! Ow! <laughs> you wanted me. Okay, this daily message is a long one. Life is short, break the rules, forgive quickly, kiss slowly, love truly, laugh uncontrollably, and never regret anything that made you smile. 20 years from now, you'll be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the ones you did. So throw off the bow lines, sail away from the safe harbor, catch the trade winds in your sails, explore, dream, discover. Mark Twain. 
All right, it's about midnight. Got another early day tomorrow, another second day of our meetings at work. Today was a crazy day. Yeah, you get to go to Halloween Horn now. Yeah, I'm going to Halloween Horn, it's tomorrow. Uh, put a comment down below if you what we how you would like me to film tomorrow because I'm probably not gonna do the audio tomorrow like I did the other day. I was gonna mm -hmm. figure out, trying to think of a different way to film while I'm there. Yeah. Just a little reminder there that our, our hearts and our thoughts are go, go out to all the families and peoples affected by what happened here in America on 9-11. You know, what, yeah. 16 I years mean, ago? No, 18 years ago? Changed the world. Yeah. Yeah. But it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.